keep the questions coming, guys. Oh, here's one from Parch Lover 11. Do you have a religion or philosophy? I believe that we should treat each other with love um, and accept people for who they are. Next question. I have a question. Who are you? God, I was live. Oh, sorry. I thought I was recording. No. It's okay. I was going to end soon anyway. Oh, look at Miss Popular over here. How many people were watching? 45. 45? That's more than a whole classroom. That's pretty great. Yeah. But can I ask, why didn't you want to tell them that you were Catholic? Oh, I don't know. I don't want anybody to judge me or anything. Who am I? How do I use my influence to speak of his magnificence? Or do I say nothing at all? How did I spread his word today? Or did I hide his love away? Am I truly answering his call? Do you sometimes feel embarrassed about your faith or try to hide it from people who may not understand? It's not always easy to talk about what you believe, is it? Let's think a little more about it while drawing something. Welcome to Art with Grace. Remember, you can draw with anything you get your hands on. Pencil, pen, tablet, just have fun. We always start by drawing you. Add all the things that make you, you. Let's draw all the platforms that you have. These days, they are usually online. When you post something, you can reach many people and even influence them with what you say and think. Do a quick sketch of you on your platforms telling the truth. You'll see that when you are brave enough to do that, there may be many who get upset. Some might turn away from you or even start shouting back. We know it doesn't feel good when that happens. Now, let's draw you being strong and continuing to tell the truth. Aha! You'll discover that there are also those who support you and encourage you. You see, being true to your faith and what you believe in is more important than being liked. That's how Jesus wants us to be. That was awesome, wasn't it? Now let's see if Sebastian has some wise words for Sabine to help with how she's feeling. Why would your followers judge you for being Catholic? I suppose some people find it funny, right, that we believe in God. Hmm, I suppose some people don't understand and maybe they find our faith strange? Yeah, so what if they make fun of me and unfollow me? I get it. It's not easy. But you have a platform, right? A platform? Like to stand on? No, a digital platform, like that phone. A way to reach out to many people. Yeah, I do. And? So, you should use it to spread the truth, and not hide things. It sounds easy and all, but what if I lose followers and friends? Well then, you have to ask what's more important, popularity or being true to your faith? Hmm. You know, this reminds me of someone, someone who had a lot of followers. Jesus? Close. John the Baptist. Oh, what did he do again? John the Baptist, how special was he? Born to Elizabeth, a relative of Mary. When he was born, his father proclaimed a song that today still rings true just the same. And John grew to be an incredible man who spoke of the glimpses he caught of God's plan. He knew of a saviour who would soon exist, and lo and behold, Jesus stood in his midst. Now John himself was a popular guy. He preached to the masses. Attendance was high. But he knew his place well. His words were precise, that he never could be as important as Christ. So looking at Jesus, he knew with no doubt this was the Messiah he'd been preaching about. He addressed his own followers who marveled and awed and said, Follow that Jesus, the true Lamb of God. So you see, even though John the Baptist himself 
was famous and had so many followers. He still recognized that God was greater than him. And that he had to proclaim the truth, even if it made himself seem less special. Right, so I shouldn't be embarrassed about my faith? No, not at all. Even if I lose a few followers? Well, if your followers judge you for loving Jesus, then maybe you don't want them as followers anyways. Hmm, that's true. And hey, maybe you gain some new followers. And introduce God to more people. That's right, you still haven't answered my question. Who are you? I'm Sabine the Faithful, and I'm not worthy to untie the straps of Jesus' sandals. Oh, uh, you forgot your phone? Oh, yeah. Who am I? An instrument to do His will, to show the world His love until all will find joy from above. I will not be afraid of it, no longer be ashamed of it. To those who listen, I'll spread His love. That's right. If we're blessed with the chance to talk to a bunch of people, we should always proclaim the truth, even if not everyone may accept it. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. See you next week. Let his love complete you. Oh, nothing can defeat you if you live the love of God. 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 Live the love of God.